If you've ever been on DisPlate, you'll notice there's some really high quality images and these high quality images have to pass a rigorous test on DisPlate. So if you're selling on DisPlate, you need to have two things working for you. Number one, you need to have your pixel size 2900 by 4060. The other thing is you need to have 300 dots per inch or greater or else DisPlate will reject it. So you might wind up with a situation like this where you upload a design that you think is good enough and it says not approved because it didn't successfully pass through DisPlate's rigorous graphic design gatekeepers. But in this video, I've got a great tool I'm gonna to showcase where you can actually upscale your image and have it pass through DisPlate's strict guidelines. Let's jump in. Okay, so here's my test design that I'm gonna be using in this video. I've got an image here of Michelangelo. It's right on Wikipedia. When I click on it, you'll see it's public domain. And when I click on more details, you'll see it comes up. The original file size is 1,382 by 1,600 pixels. Although it looks great on display, it's not nearly large enough to make display happy, and they will reject this if you upload it as is. But have no fear, there is an upscaler that you can use. It's called Upscale, although the spelling is off, so you have to type in Upscale the way it's written, upscale.org. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Now, if you try to log in or if you try to register, it's not going to let you because you're signing up for some beta testing. But you don't need to sign up for it in order to upscale your images. So what you're gonna do here is go to Desktop, and then you're gonna download the program either with your Mac or your Windows, whatever program you're using. So this is a desktop version that I'm gonna be using in this video. So when you download and install Upscale onto your computer, you just double click on the icon and open it up like you would any other program. So it's gonna look like this when you first log in. So what I'm gonna do now is step one over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna select my image. Okay, and here we've got the original image. When I hover over it, you can see it's 1382 by 1600 pixels. I'm actually gonna right click on it, go to properties, and we'll see it's 150 DPI, which is not the 300 that DisPlate needs. So the pixel size is a fail and the DPI is a fail. So this is, there's no way DisPlate will approve this, but this is the image that we're going to use. So I'm gonna open it. So here's the image now uploaded inside of Upscale. Okay, now for step two, it says select a model and I've just got general photo selected, but there's these other ones here as well. I think it's like digital art. I don't know what the difference is in all of these are. I've just always selected digital art, so you can certainly monkey around with those options if you want. So now I'm gonna go image scale and I'm gonna go up high. Now when you go up high enough, you're gonna see a little exclamation mark pop up. It says anything above five times may cause performance issues. So I would recommend you start off with maybe five times and just see how your computer reacts to it. If it starts burping and overheating, then maybe you wanna take it a little bit slow here. But I'm gonna use it as five times. And then you can also do this double upscale as well, which will run everything twice. And you'll notice when I click on that, you'll see down below the upscaler changes from the original dimensions. The dimensions now change to this upscale. So this actually just runs it through twice. So what I would recommend you do when you're first starting out is go five times larger. Don't run it twice through the upscale because that'll actually push it 25 times larger because you'll be running it through twice. And you can also specify the output path. When you hover over it, you'll see the Microsoft Windows output path. You can also click on it as well. I'm just going to leave it as is. And now step four, I'm going to click the upscale button. This is going to change my rinky dink image into a very high quality image. I'll click upscale and we'll see it's starting to work. Now, like any creative solution, there's upsides and there's downsides. The biggest upside is that this is a free tool. I haven't given upscale any of my personal information. I've just simply downloaded this program and I've put it on my computer. The downside is that this does take some time depending on how large you would like the image to go. So I've run this a few times, especially with the double upscale. It takes sometimes up to three or even four hours to run this. You can see here in real time, it's upscaling the image. It's about halfway through and it's been about a minute so far. So within two or three minutes, you can upscale an image here pretty good. Okay, so here's my output image. And when I right click on it and I go to properties, you'll see that it's actually a PNG file. And a PNG file is unique, not just because it can have a transparent background. Now this one doesn't because there's a background in there, but PNG file also does not have dots per inch. It has instead just a pixel size. So here's 6,910 by 8,000. And this will now be my PNG file that I use inside of Photoshop. So here is the black background. I've just put my 
upscaled image now inside of Photoshop and then I can go image, image size. My canvas size is 4350 by 6090. So I recommend if you're making disc plates to use this size, not the smaller size that's the bare minimum. Make something a little bit larger like this, 4350 by 6090, 300 pixels per inch. And now I'm just simply gonna save this as a JPEG and I will upload it to Displate. Okay, and I uploaded my image onto Displate. I waited a day or two and it does say published. Okay, and you can see here, here's the final image. And it was originally a very small image that was in no way met the criteria to be published. But through the upscaling, it works great. I highly recommend Upscale. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. You do not need to be stymied by small images. You can upscale them, have some fun doing it. You can be a great artist just like Michelangelo. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of print on demand.